The CentraSense DEDPV Clothes Dryer Booster Fan is designed to mitigate underperforming dryer duct systems while conforming to the highest standards of performance, safety, and error notification. To begin, determine the location for mounting the fan. Leave a 20-inch opening in the dryer duct for the fan and mark the holes to be drilled. Continue by drilling the four holes with a 3 16 drill bit for the mounting bolts. Next, place each of the provided rubber grommets on the underside of the mounting bracket, followed by the washers and lag bolts. Use a 7 16 inch wrench or socket to secure all four lag bolts. As the bolts are tightened, the washer will squeeze the rubber grommet onto the bracket, providing vibration isolation from the framing. The next step is to prepare the cleanout sleeves. Start by removing each sleeve from the package and place one provided self-adhesive foam strip to only one end of each sleeve. The strip should be adhered to the underside of the sleeve, flush with the rounded edge. Place the other two self-adhesive foam strips on the outside surface of the inlet-outlet neck of the ventilator. Continue by placing the sleeve around the duct, ensuring that the sleeve is overlapping itself. Then, slide the two provided band clamps over each sleeve and tighten. The clamps should be positioned behind the bead on the ductwork end of the sleeve and in front of the bead on the fan side. Use a good quality foil duct tape to seal the connections and the seam. Once the fan is in place, it's time to install the remote indicator. The DRM-04 ships with the control wiring connected to both the ventilator and the remote indicator. The remote indicator can be flush mounted or mounted to an electrical box. The correct orientation for the indicator panel is with the remote sensor input towards the lower left side. For mounting to an electrical box, first make sure the two-position switch on the back of the indicator is set to sense. Reconnect control wiring to the indicator following the colors shown on the wiring sticker. Locate the provided indicator warning card and align it to the front of the indicator while using the provided screws to hold the card in place and mount the indicator to the box. For flush mounting, use the provided indicator warning card as a stencil to mark the locations of the drywall anchors. Drill holes for the wall anchors using a 3 16 inch drill bit and install the two provided wall anchors. Be sure that the two position switch on the back of the indicator is set to sense. Locate the square wiring knockout on the top of the housing and remove it using either wire cutters or a utility knife. Remember to route the control wiring through the knockout so the indicator will sit flush on the wall. Locate the provided indicator warning card and align it to the front of the indicator while using the provided screws to hold the card in place and mount the indicator to the box. Finally, to install the current sensor, disconnect all power from the dryer and locate the power wiring compartment. The current sensor must be clipped onto a hot conductor from the clothes dryer's power cord to properly interlock the ventilator to the clothes dryer. Once located, clip the provided blue sensor onto that wire. Tuck the current sensor back into the compartment and replace the wiring compartment cover. Now plug the current sensor wire into the jack on the remote indicator panel and reconnect power to the dryer. Now apply power to the DRM-04 for the first time. If the red fail light is lit solid on the indicator, make sure the plug from the current sensor wire is fully seated into the jack. To test the interlock, set the dryer to an air fluff, no heat cycle, and start the dryer. Observe that the green sense light on the remote indicator is lit solid after two to three seconds of clothes dryer operation. This indicates that the interlock is successful and the ventilator is operating. If the green light does not turn on, remove power to both the DRM-04 and clothes dryer and revisit these steps. Instead, choosing the other hot conductor from the clothes dryer's power cord. The dryer's motor current that the DRM-04 monitors is typically only carried by one, but not both of these hot wires. Your DRM-04 requires no calibration or test cycles, so it is now ready for years of reliable operation, backed by our five-year warranty. You can expect an improvement in the performance of your dryer duct system and also the peace of mind that your duct system performance is continuously monitored by the DRM-04. 
If you observe that the red fail light on your indicator panel is blinking during or after your clothes dryer cycle, refer to your user manual for maintenance, cleaning, or troubleshooting instructions. Oftentimes, obstructions in the exterior vent or a buildup of lint in your duct system over time can lead to underperformance in your vent system. The DRM-04 is designed to warn you of these conditions so that you can take the necessary actions to correct them. For more information, visit suncourt.com.